What's up everybody, this is Tall Tannic and I'm Board Badger with another video for you today. Let's do it! Have you ever wondered just which animals are the closest to achieving immortality but haven't had the brains to just Google it yourself? Not to worry, we've got the answers for you! Some of these creatures live an incredibly long time, and we even have one that is said to be biologically immortal. Can you guess what it is? We're back again, this time with nearly immortal animals! Gooey Duck These phallic-shaped little ocean hot dogs are giant edible saltwater clams that live in the coastal waters of western Canada and the northwest US and are native to Puget Sound. The shell on the odd-looking clam is relatively small, only growing to between 5.9 and 7.9 inches. What makes this guy so big is the really, really long, really inappropriate looking siphons, which alone can reach up to 3.3 feet in length. This animal is the biggest burrowing clam in all the world and makes this list because it can live to be older than 140 years, with the oldest recorded reaching 168 years old. That's over double the average lifespan for humans, making this thing one wrinkly old hot dog. One you definitely wouldn't want to bite into in a backyard barbecue or anywhere else for that matter. Tuatara This little dinozilla is endemic to New Zealand, and their name is drawn from the Maori language and means peaks on the back. The Tuatara is the only remaining member of its order, Rhynchocephalia. Said order flourished around 200 million years ago, so these baby lizards have direct ties to animals that were around back when dinosaurs were still walking around the earth. The tuatara is typically found to be brown and gray and at lengths of about 31 inches from head to tail. They're some of the longest living vertebrates out there, with some living to be between 100 and 200 years old. That's older than most of our grandparents make it, so these lizards are basically wizards in wisdom and awesomeness. Lamellibrachia tube worms. These wormies are related to the giant tube worm and kind of resemble those old push pencils that stop working if you lost one lead piece. They live in the deep sea at cold seeps where one could find hydrocarbons pushing up through the seafloor, mainly in the northern Gulf of Mexico. They can get huge, sometimes reaching more than 10 feet in length, and they can live to be over 250 years old. That's a whole quarter of a millennium. While it's not the oldest on the list, it sure is impressive, even for a worm that resembles a particularly pesky pencil. That alliteration, though. <laughs> Red Sea Urchin Did you ever have one of those squeeze balls with the little tentacles on it as a kid? Well, that's precisely what these spiny little puffballs resemble. The sea urchin makes a living in the Pacific Ocean, ranging from Baja, California, all the way up to the good old, cold old Alaska. It dwells in the shallow waters and is generally found on rocky shores where they're protected from getting sucked away by the waves. They're covered all over with really sharp spines that can reach lengths of 3.1 inches, and the animals themselves get larger the older they get. Typically, they're somewhere between red to dark burgundy in color, and once in a great while, an albino red sea urchin is found, probably mistaken for a white sea urchin. <laughs> they make their way around by crawling along the ocean floor, using their long pointy spines like stilts, and don't travel very fast. Now, those reasons aren't why they made our list, so let's get down to the good stuff. They usually live to be older than 30, and some have been found living longer than 200 years. They eat kelp and try to stay out of the rough seas, which may explain their long lifespan. So if you ever come upon one, especially a larger spike ball, just know that it's probably been on this planet longer than you and your grandmother, and possibly her mother as well, so you better treat it with the respect it deserves. Bowhead Whale Now you might be wondering why this guy is called the Bowhead, or you might be able to make an educated guess just by looking at it. Either way, this cool creature looks like it took a swimming start and ran headlong into an iceberg. That could be pretty likely as they're found in the Arctic and subarctic waters, in places like Alaska and the Sea of Okhotsk near Russia. They have large dark colored bodies with a white chin and lower jaw, which is bowed, and a narrow upper jaw. The lower jaw is how it really got its name as the lower jaw resembles an archer's bow. These beautiful whales are known to be some of the longest living mammals in the world, living for over 200 years. On average, they live between 135 and 172, but the oldest bowhead was estimated to be 211. Some bowheads have even been found with spears still lodged in them from failed hunting attempts 200 years ago. Sad stuff. These giant adorable whales seem to age with grace and style, and they've earned their rightful place on this here list. Koi Koi are variously colored varieties of amour carp and are typically seen kept in water gardens or koi ponds. You know, the colorful fish the kids are always fascinated with anytime you go somewhere with a neat little fish pond? These are usually the brightly colored buggers you're seeing. 
They're distinguished by scalation, patterning, and coloration, and some of the more common koi colors are yellow, blue, red, white, black, and cream. Originally found in Asia and Central Europe, they're cold water fish, but can adapt to many different types of climates and water conditions, making them the perfect fish to keep as outdoor pets. Now let's get down to the reason why they're here, shall we? These old fishies have been known to be able to achieve ages between 100 and 200 years, and one famous scarlet known as Hanako was said to live to be 225. They're tough little fish and can resist parasites quite well, and with the proper care and loving, they can be your best friend for the rest of your life, and your kids, and your grandkids, and so on. Tortoise We've probably all met a tortoise in our lifetimes, am I right? These slow-moving, sweet-acting giants are land-dwelling reptiles and are obviously shielded from predators with their great big shells. They're generally reclusive and are known to be the longest living land animal in the world. Different tortoises live different lengths of time. The Galapagos tortoise usually lives a little over 150 years, whereas the Aldabra giant tortoise is thought to be able to live to be over 200 years. One Aldabra in particular, Adwaita, was said to have lived for 255 years at the time he left our planet to go slink around in the heavens among all of his fellow past turtle brethren. It's crazy to think that there are even some tortoises swimming around out there that were already here the year Charles Darwin was born back in 1809, and will continue to be here for years and years to come. These guys live a long, long time, and it seems as though you can tell when you meet one. I mean, they're all wrinkled and crusty as fudge, and they move like the folks you'd see in a nursing home. Arctica Islandica. These clammy clam clams are known as the ocean quahog and are native to the North Atlantic Ocean. They typically resemble the quahog, another clam, but they're much rounder and don't have a sinus. They live subtidally and can only be collected through dredging. They can grow to have shell heights greater than 50 millimeters, and one individual specimen of ocean quahog was said to have lived to be 507 years old, making it the oldest non-colonial metazoan. The rings on their shells are thought to be markings like the rings found in a tree, with each ring marking another year spent on your good old planet Earth. They're typically harvested commercially as a food source, and just let that sink in for a minute. If you've ever eaten an ocean quahog, you could have been putting something that's over 500 years old in your mouth. The ocean quahog, the slimy shell-protected grandmothers of the sea. Antarctic sponge. These crazy-looking mother lickas are made up with skeletons of silica, which is a mineral compound found in glass. They're located in Antarctica, which we bet you could have guessed, and typically grow really, really slowly. However, in 2013, some communities of Antarctic sponges did double in biomass and triple in number over two growing seasons. They're kind of famous for being some of the slowest growing creatures on Earth and have lifespans, not always, but sometimes, exceeding 1,550 years old. You heard me right, 1,550 years old. That means that some of the specimens alive today could have also been around the first time smallpox ever hit Western Europe. These guys are here for a reason, and that reason is why they're older than, well, everything, besides the next animal on this list. Greenland Shark. Hey, we've seen this guy recently. If you didn't catch him in last week's Taltanic collab with me, let us learn you a little bit of knowledge about this super cool, super long living mother. These intimidating predators are part of the family Somniocidae, also known as sleeper sharks, and they can be found mostly restricted to the frigid waters of the Arctic and North Atlantic Ocean. These old, like hobbit old guys, have the longest known lifespan of all of the different vertebrate species in the world. They're believed to be able to live upwards of 500 years, which in our opinion is mind blowing. They live deep, deep in the water and can grow up to 24 feet in length. They prey on mainly fish, but sometimes make snacks of parts of polar bears, moose, horses, seals, and one specimen was found with an entire reindeer carcass inside. What they are attracted to is the smell of rotting animals, so as long as you don't go in any arctic waters with gangrene, you should be okay. All jokes aside, with them living their shark lives in deeper waters, attacks on humans are pretty unlikely, which is good, because these things are nicknamed sleeper sharks. Sounds like some new horrifying government weapon if you asked us. Turtopsis dorni. All hail the Turtopsis dorni, also known as the immortal jellyfish. Found in the waters of Japan and in the Mediterranean Sea, these fantastic jellyfish are said to be, drumroll please, biologically immortal. Yes, we did say immortal. Like they don't have a maximum lifespan. These fudgers can live forever because they can revert back to the polyp stage whenever they need to and basically start all over again. Have you ever heard of such a thing? 
They're obviously the focus of a lot of research and awe due to their capabilities. The process is called transdifferentiation, and it's inspired scientists to try their best to figure out a way to make stem cells that use this same method for humans. Imagine being immortal, or being able to turn yourself into a baby and start all over again if you need it. While that would be pretty incredible, it'd also be pretty scary. Because where are we going to continuously find people that are going to put up with our crap over and over again? And I mean that quite literally. Before you guys leave, make sure to let us know what you think down in the comments below. And make sure to stop by my channel, Board Badger, on the way out. See you guys next week.